Whose turn is it to clean up? Yours. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go check the stone booze on that chestnut. We'll keep an eye on that hammerhead. He's mean. This time in the morning, we're all mean. <laughs> Say that again. I told you to be careful. We're gonna have to get you to a doctor. There's one in Angeles. It's not too far out of the way. Come on. Mining company. Company store with armed guards keeping the customers away. What's going on? I don't know. It's none of our concern. That's uh, Doc's office over there. Company orders, Mr. Reagan. I'm sorry. Well, so am I, Harvey. Hey, Steve! Steve Reagan, what's the matter? I can't remember old friend. Oh, just surprise. Good to see you, Joe. How you doing? Fine, fine. What are you doing in town? Just passing through. You got time? Come on out and see Stephanie. I wish I could, but I can't. I got a whole string of horses I got to get to the ranch. Next time for sure. Hey, Candy. Come here, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Steve Regan. Howdy. for us before he married the best-looking girl in Angeles. Well, I can't say I blame you. What happened to your hand? Oh, nothing much. Horse stepped on it. Horse stepped on it? Hey, we'll be over in a saloon having a beer. How's that sound? Great. Come on. Out here. Potter shed, Emmett. Somebody broke into it last night. Here's as I can tell, 10, 15 cases of dynamite are gone. What happened to the guard? Slugged and tied up. 15 cases of dynamite? Better take some men and search the mine. I'll check in what's missing. Even five cases of dynamite planted in one of those side tunnels will bring down all the lower levels. You want that mine searched? You get somebody else? No, 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 wait, wait. Maybe we won't have to do it. Put a couple of extra men on guard at the entrance. We'll decide what to do when we know exactly how much is missing. Hard to believe it's, it's been a year since I was the best man at your wedding. I don't know how many times I've ridden by Angeles and I meant to stop. Ah, I know how it is, Joe. Get busy. Stephanie's missed you, too. Yeah, how's she doing? Fine. Okay. Have another beer. No, no, no. I never sponge more, more than one drink off a friend. It's a habit. You're broke, huh? Like the rest of the miners here in Angeles, the mines closed down and the company store just shut off all credit. Well, what's the problem? Man asking for higher wages or what? 
No, the mine ain't safe, especially the lower levels. No, we just, we just walked out. Ah, don't you worry about that. We'll make out all right, Joe. Hey, well, look, why don't you come back and work for us on the Ponderosa? I never, never figured you for much of a miner anyway. Yeah, me neither, but you, you get caught up in things. I'm, no, I'm committed here now. How do you mean committed? I'm the one that talked the miners into walking out. And they're depending on me. Well, thanks for the beer, Joe. Maybe next time, my treat. Oh, wait a minute. There, there must be something I can do to help, Steve. Now, now, like I said, we'll make out all right. Hey, how's the hand? Well, old buddy, looks like you're going to have to do all the work going back to the ranch. Oh, that bad, huh? Steve, how about giving us some help? If we could use it, be a day's wages. There's a miners' meeting here tonight. I'd have to be back for that. I'd be back in plenty of time. What do you say? All right. Good enough. Let's go. Hey, Steve. We've got to talk to you. Well, later, Uncle Pat, I'm giving Joe here a hand with his horses. Uncle Pat, you remember Joe Kite, right? Mr. Wojcik? Cave, how you doing? I'll see you in a minute, Joe. Right. Good to see you again. Joe got right. What about the meeting tonight? I'll be there. Well, you better be. You know, we got decisions to make. Just a minute. I'll ride this one. You take my horse. It'll be rough string we picked up. I can still ride anything you can, Joe. Okay, suit yourself. You're gonna listen to me when I tell you what horse to get on you, all right? Hey, Steve? Steve? He's dead. Steve be surprised to see you. I told him you'd come. I told him. I'll just make a cake. You can't stay, can't you? I mean, I'll just make a little coffee. Stephanie, please. Joe, what's wrong? Stephanie, Steve's dead. No, I don't believe that. some horses to the ranch. He's only gonna work a couple of hours. Steve into getting on that horse.
10 cases of dynamite, a box of caps, 50, maybe 100 feet of fuse. More than enough to blow the mine closed. We better find it. I don't care if we have to rip out every board in every miner's house. We're going to find that dynamite. Let's go. Yeah. Make your search, but don't look too hard. Think about it. It could work out just fine for us. outside the street. I want to go see Steve. Are you sure you're up to it? You're right. Search the house. Private house. You can't break in here like this. Ooh. Joseph Cartwright. These men are under my orders, Mr. Cartwright. Nothing here concerns you. I suggest you go back to the Ponderosa where you belong. And I suggest you get out of here. I'm sorry, Mrs. Reagan. But we have to search your house. For what? Ten cases of dynamite stolen from the company warehouse. There's no dynamite here. Your husband, Mrs. Reagan, he knows. My husband is dead. Now get your men out of this house. Go on, Garrett. I'm sorry to hear about this, Mrs. Reagan. Your husband and I had our differences, but... We don't often get to see Cartwrights in Angeles. Say hello to your father for me when you get back. I would advise you to leave soon. It's a bad bump, but he'll be all right. I want to go see Steve. Now, will you take him home, Joe? I'll take care of him. Come on, Mr. Walsh. Come on. All right, folks, move along. Don't block the streets. Move along now. And those voices. Those are my horses, mister. Leave them alone. Leave them alone! I said turn them loose. You turn those horses loose, it's gonna take two days to round them up. You figure to do that? Put that gun away. Sure, as soon as he gets away from that horse. I want this street cleared. I got enough trouble handling these miners. I don't want strangers getting in my way, getting hurt. I'll give you 20 minutes to get out of Angeles. Is there anything else I can do? Stephanie. You must take care of her now. I have mouths on my own to feed. I'll do what I can. Mr. Wojcik, what's going on here? What are the men afraid of? 
Is it the dynamite that Hudson said was stolen? Is that it? I don't know anything about dynamite. Have it your own way. The mine. That is what we are afraid of. It is not safe. Bad timber. Shoring no good. Steve knew. He tried to talk to Mr. Hudson. Someday soon, the tunnels will go. I've been a miner all my life. My father in Poland. That is all I know. It is hard work. It is a good job. Maybe someday it'll be better for our sons. Hey, Dad, I... Hey, what's Cartwright doing here? He wants to help. Why don't you just go on back to your big ranch and leave us alone? Okay. All right, all right, Thad, just hold it. Thanks for helping me, Mr. Cartwright. Thanks. Anna, leave us. They searched your house. Yeah. But they didn't find any dynamite. They can tear down every house in Angeles, but they won't find it. Give it back to them, Kate. No, Thad, no. Well, they got the guns, but we got the dynamite. And they're not getting us back into that mine to die like rats. We'll blow it up first. I can't leave yet. We've been ordered out of town. What do you mean, ordered? By whom? Deputy Sheriff. That figures I got the same message myself. Brady's gonna have some trouble with the miners, he said, once us out of the way. Yeah, well, that's too bad. I can't leave now. Never even planned to stay in Angeles. He just got caught up in things. Got involved. I'm pregnant, Joe. Steve talked about you so much. I hoped you'd come by. So did I. I hoped you'd come by and see us. God help me, Joe. I hate you for coming to Angeles now. Joe, 
Joseph, I'll say it again. What happened to Steve was an accident. It could have happened to anybody. You're not responsible. Pa, there's a woman back in Angeles who thinks I am. And in a way, she's right. If I hadn't stopped in Angeles, Steve would be alive right now. The fact is, I did stop, and a friend is dead. His wife's a widow, and... And expecting a child. Yes. No accident or not, the least I, I can do is be around when she needs help. Joy. I just feel that I... Well, I'd like you not to go back to Angeles until the trouble there is settled. Well, I have to go back. Stephanie's gonna need help. Well, the other miners can't help her. They haven't been working because the mine isn't safe. Well, there's another thing that, that troubles me. What's that? Well, as a stockholder in that mine, I get reports. I got one here dated about three months ago. Signed by an inspector of the Federal Bureau of Mines. Here. And you'll see that the Angeles mine is rated well above federal safety standards. Oh, I don't understand it. Yeah, but the miners aren't my problem. Stephanie is. Oh, well, Joe, I... I would just rather that you didn't go back there. Isn't, isn't there something I could do? What does she need? How can I help her? Pa, I have to help her. Yeah. All right. But you be real careful. Yes, sir. Where are you going? Angeles. You have a responsibility, too? Well, no, not exactly. I can't do any work around here for a while, and it seems like a nice day for a ride. <laughs> I think you're going. Angeles. Well, do me a favor, go back to the ranch. I can't, I just quit. Uh, incidentally, I think you're a fool for going back to Angeles. Well, then how come you're going? Well, I'm just as responsible for Steve's death as you are. If that clumsy footed horse hadn't stepped on my hand, we wouldn't have gone to Angeles in the first place. Candy, I'd say that was a pretty lame excuse. It's about as good as yours. All right, let's go. I didn't count on this kind of trouble, Emmett. What kind of trouble did you count on, Mr. Polk? Oh, you know very well what I mean. Those miners out there, this sort of thing could lead to an investigation. You take care of your inspection reports, I'll worry about the miners. I don't know, Emmett. It's a little late to grow a conscience, Mr. Polk. However, you know I need the money. You always do. What does Mary need this time? You leave my wife out of this, Emmett. <laughs> Mr. Hudson. What is it? Oh, that's all right. There's some miners gathering in front of the store. Could you put a guard in the door? Two of them. Those miners are getting pretty desperate, Emmett. Not desperate. Hungry. They'll start eating again as soon as they go back to work. If they try to break into the store, stop them. I told you I didn't like it. Shoot one of those miners and you'll have a dozen United States Marshals in Angeles. And I told you, stick to your inspection reports. I'll take care of the rest.
I feel worse in bed. Come in. Let me get you some cake. Huh? No, no cake. And I'll get you some coffee. Anna told me about the baby. Who will take care of you? How will you live? I'll manage. There is no work for women here. And I... I cannot help. You mustn't worry about me. I... I was thinking about you and Joe Gottfried. He's a rich man, Stephanie. And he feels responsible for what happened to Steve. If you want it, you could... It was a bad thing to say. I'm sorry. Please go. Do what you got to do. I'm going to be in the bar. Uh, stay out of trouble. Peaceful as a lamb. Ooh. Come in. I didn't expect to see you back in Angeles again. Dad told me that you were leaving. I am tomorrow. Why did you come back? I thought maybe I could help. Stephanie, we were friends. I told you, what happened to Steve wasn't your fault. Now, what more do you want? I want you to believe it. All right, I believe it. Now, if you're so anxious to help, why don't you help the miners? They need it more than I do. I told you to stay out of town. I decided to come back. You want to try a man with two good hands, you go right ahead. No need. I made my point. Oh. 
ఈ విధంగా Doctor, if I need him. You make it over to the hotel by yourself? Oh, yeah, I'm all right. Where are you going? To a meeting. You go over there and get some rest. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, well, you're old man. Old man. That's what you are. You're tired old man. Willing to sell the rest of us out. What happened to you, Thad? You were with Steve when we walked out. You told us we'd win. How many marbles do you have to feed, Cape? Steve is dead. We can't hold out anymore. What else can we do? You know. You know what we can do. Blow up the mine. What good will that do? Who asked you in here? I did. He wants to help. Yeah, sure he does. Then Cartwright's little boy come all the way back to Angeles to help. What's the matter, Cartwright? You miss a meal tonight? Your old man turned you out of your nice soft bed? Cape. Oh, what's he doing here? He don't care nothing about us. His old man owns half the territory. Father owns a piece of this mine, too, don't he? Yeah, maybe Ben Cartwright sent you. It's your father's money you're interested in, ain't it? Cape, that's enough. You said you could help. How? All right, first of all, you sure the mine isn't safe? I'm sure. Well, I read a report from the Federal Bureau of Mines saying otherwise. Well, why don't you go down in one of them tunnels and find out? That's exactly what I intend to do. Sure, he'll go. Then we'll get ourselves another fake report. Well, you go ahead, Cartwright. I just hope you're down there when all the D-level comes down. The dynamite. Where is it? In the mine. Ready to blow it apart. It may seem that way to you, Mr. Cartwright, but I'd say you've been talking to the wrong people. You've been talking to the miners. That's exactly what I mean. They filled you with a lot of lies. Mr. Polk here is a qualified inspector from the Bureau of Mines. He completed the report your friend is reading just this morning. Safest mine in the world, according to this. So in that case, you can't object if we have a look around. The mine is closed, Mr. Cartwright, because of the strike. I can't take you down there. You either show it to me today or show it to my father tomorrow. That's up to you. Since you put it that way, since your father is a stockholder. Mr. Garrett? What do we need the sheriff for? These are troubled times in Angeles, Mr. Cartwright. We wouldn't want you to get hurt. Let's go.
That needn't concern us, Mr. Cartwright. If you were a miner, you'd know things are always shifting and moving about underground. It's something to do with the earth tides. Now, that timbering you're looking at, that's some of the oldest in the whole mine. Minor friends, Mr. Cartwright. He was about to set off that dynamite, bring the whole mountain down and kill us all. Yeah, because he knew what I just found out. That every timber in his mind is right. <laughs> we owe this one a vote of thanks. He just solved all our problems. read the report and let it go at that, you wouldn't be here now. So if you grab all you can, then you blow up the mine, destroy the evidence. And they'll blame it all on the miners. They've been threatening to blow up this place for weeks. And what do you tell them when they find us? They're not going to find you, unless they want to move a million tons of rock. That's why we hauled you a half mile further into the tunnel. Find some rope? That's a fuse. to have a cart ride staying in Angela. Fuse. Must be sitting 
safe in my office when the blast goes off. I'd like it. All right, let's go. Fuse. Yeah, yeah. I think it's some of my best. It's always a pleasure to have one of our stockholders. Where's my visit. son, Joseph? I, I don't know exactly. I, I believe he went into the mine to make an inspection. Did he? Well, then we'll make an inspection, too. Now. Yes. Yes, of course. Garrett? trouble with the miners here lately, Mr. Cartwright. Almost anything can happen here these days. Is Joe in there? I tried to Get stop him. I got a lot of men. serious that he can't stand fire. It goes for you, too. That's it. You want to see me? 
Your father's a good man, Joe. Extending credit to the miners until they can work the mine again. Yeah, they'll be back to work real soon. But that's not why I wanted to see you. I want you to forgive me. I was so frightened and all alone. I just had to blame someone. I understand. I'll be staying with Steve's folks in St. Louis, so maybe you'd come visit me sometime. Maybe you'd even be a godfather to Steve's baby. I know Steve would have liked that. So would I. 